Hi, everybody, and welcome to my attempt this week on BBO's weekly free instant tournament to see what lessons we can learn about the play of the bridge hand. Um, so, instant tournaments, weekly free. Yeah, and we want history. Right. I mean, it's obviously subjective, but I do feel that um, the hands on BBO are becoming more distributional. I mean, BBO say that their dealing algorithm produces the same, you know, what you'd expect from a, you know, a real random deal as opposed to their pseudo random one, and much the same as big deal, which is the uh, pseudo random algorithm used by you know, the World Bridge Federation, the European Bridge League, the EBU, ACBL now, etc. Um, so um, I'm just seeing a load more big distributional hands. But once again, I don't have any statistics and the people who do say that BBO's hands are pretty much as expected for random deals. So partners opened the club. We've got a 13 count, but seven diamonds, five spades, and the singleton king of hearts. Um, we haven't got enough to um, do anything stronger, and we haven't we need room to describe our hand. So we're just going to say one diamond here and see what partner says. Well, partner doesn't say anything because they say four hearts. Right. Well, partner may have a stack of hearts, may have four hearts here. And um, that's quite likely. Now, this is probably an eight card suit. And we've got one that would. So I don't think we can pass here. Um, don't think we can double because we certainly don't want to hear partner bidding clubs again. Um, we bid diamonds. If we now bid four spades, we'll certainly be showing, I think, longer diamonds and spades. See what the robot thinks four spades is four plus diamonds, four plus spades, 12. Yeah, well, I've got more distribution than that. I think I'm bound to have more distribution than that, that bid, but that's what the robot thinks. But I certainly don't think we should sell out to four hearts. So as long as the robot doesn't bid five clubs. Um, right, so the robot's got some spades and not so many diamonds. Three spades. It's got the ace of diamonds, though. We're going to lose this heart. But reasonably, hopefully, that um, will be the only trick that we lose. But there's a danger that the spades will be 5 nil. But if I were playing teams, I would throw a diamond away now um, just to, to protect against the spades being 5 nil. But if there were eight hearts here, Dummy had two, East had two, I had one, that's five. So the yeah, if this hand really does have eight hearts, which you'd expect for that four heart bid, then nobody else has any hearts. So once again, we the diamond should come in. Um, we've got seven here. There's two there. That's nine. So they've got four. So there could be four to the jack, but I don't think there can be four to the jack in the west hand. Um, they're much more likely to be four to the jack in the east hand. And we'll find out about that when I play the ace. Um, once, assuming I've drawn all the trumps, um, then if east has four, we'll have a finesse to the ten. So we're going to see if the trumps are five nil. If they're not, we can, you know, we've got, as you saw, we had eight trumps to start with. So they had five. If they're five nil, we've got a problem and we're going to have to play on diamonds and force them to rough um, and uh, but if they're 
Ball one, three, two, we can draw the trumps and make all the diamonds and make 12 tricks. Oh, so it doesn't look like. They're four, one, they're, they're five, nil. So they are four, one, but uh, we can draw these last two trumps away and this hand's thrown a diamond so all the diamonds are good now ten finger diamonds will drop the jack and now I can claim plus two I wonder how many managed to bid slam well, not many, by the looks of it, 92% of all spades plus two. Lots of five diamonds minus one. Five clubs minus five. Well, I don't see how you get there. Hmm. East goes pass. We've got 17 with a nice five card major. Could argue that this is too good to treat as one no trump. I'm inclined to think so as well. I'm going to treat this as 18 points, open one heart, and then jump in no trumps. Raise one no trump. So I'm going to open a heart. Two hearts there. Right. So partners got seven to ten total points, three plus hearts. So then the question is, should I bid? If I bid two no trumps now, that's going to be 17, 18 points. It promises the queen in spades rather than the jack. Um, I think I want to do that because I want to deter a spade lead against um, whatever contract we're playing in. So this should be pretty much forcing. The partner goes to four hearts. Yes. Now what? Well, we haven't deterred a spade lead, but... Um, Right. <clears throat> so, the leader of the king of spades, if I duck this, then West can't carry on. Well, we assume West has the queen of spades because they've led the king. If we duck this trick, then West can't carry on with the queen of spades because we can win with the ace and our jack will be good. Um, so they're likely to switch to diamonds or clubs, which would suit us or to trumps, possibly. But that does look good, because if we win the ace, well, let's say we draw trumps, we're likely to lose a trick to east in clubs, and a spade come through. Um, the only danger in ducking a spade is that west has six spades. But I think if west had six spades, we'd have had a, a weak jump over call by West and putting two spades. So I think West only has no more than well, has no more than five and may well have less. So I'm going to duck this and because that keeps my spade stop in place. I'm going to keep Jack Nine of Spades just because that if the ten is in the East Ham that may oh so they're playing on. So we think this will stand up. And our jack's now a winner. So our difficulty is that East is now roughing spades. Um, we think there's... Um, the robot doesn't signal length, so we can't be sure whether the robot's got two or three spades. Um, 
But what that has done is it's taken our entry away from Dummy. And we've lost a spade. We may lose a heart. We should lose a diamond. And we lose a club. What we'd like to do is lead diamonds from Dummy. Towards the King Queen. If East goes up with the Ace, then we've just got the one diamond loser. And East can't really play anything to harm us. But if West wins the Ace of Diamonds, then they're going to play a Spade. And this hand's going to Rough for their second trick. But then we should be able to get a diamond rough in dummy. And just lose one club. So I think we're going to play the diamond. And this hand off a robot often goes up with the ace here. So I'm expecting this and lose for the ace here. So now we've got this hand had. King, Queen of Spades, Ace of Diamonds. They had the King of Clubs. I think they're doing something over um, my one heart bid. So the King of Clubs is in the East Hand. They played this diamond. So I have a club loser. The only way I won't have a club loser is if I get to dummy and lead the queen of clubs, king of clubs, ace of clubs, and the jack drops singleton. Um, that seems unlikely. I could have a heart loser here. I need to rough a diamond in dummy. And then get back to my hand. So. I'm going to draw two rounds of trumps ending in my hand just to reduce the risk of an over rough. With this jack of diamonds appearing, it does seem quite possible, but I can't afford to rough with the queen because that would create a trump loser. And there's no way of getting rid of the diamond loser except on a long club. So the other possibility is that I play on clubs now, losing to the king. They can't cash a diamond because they're, and I somehow set up the long club, draw trumps and throw the diamond on the clubs. But West doesn't seem to have five spades, otherwise they might think about Maybe they only had four spades, but remember we had five diamonds, so they had eight. So this one only had two, this one have six diamonds. Um, once again, headed by the ace, and you'd expect them to be doing something. So I think the diamond rough is going to be all right. But, right, so I'm going to draw two rounds of trumps and I'm going to go over to, of course, if trumps are four, one, in trouble. Ten's not a good sign. Ah, oh, well, that's a, I think so. We definitely have a Trump loser. And we're going to win this one. Our only real possibility here. I think that this hand may have had King Queen Doubleton of Spades. There isn't a real possibility of avoiding a club and a spade loser, other than the singleton jack of clubs. Right. So, is there a chance that this hand has the singleton jack of clubs? Um, we know they've got four, they had four hearts. 
it's entirely possible that they had four spades and four diamonds. Therefore, have a singleton club. But we don't think it can be the king because that gives them too many points. We think the king is here. So they could have a singleton jack of clubs. And that seems like the only chance of not losing two tricks. Come to hand with a spade, cash the king of hearts, give him a heart trick, but they'll have a diamond with which to exit. So I'm going to go with this chance. And it wasn't. Oh, they did have a doubleton spade. Oh, well. Let's give them their heart trick. And here comes Jack with that. Ninety two point nine per cent again. Is everybody too off in four hearts then? Yep. Right. Well does play pay to count. Right. So getting thirteen points. The obvious one spade opening. One no trump, which is a forcing one no trump in the two over one system. Um, because to respond at the two level, they would have to have enough to force to gain 13 points, really. Um, one no trump has to be 6 to 12. And so it's forcing for one round. Um, some people... You play two over one play it's kind of semi forcing but you can drop it if you've got ten or eleven point opening hand i've got 13 and i've got a distributional one i don't really want to play in one there trump it looks like i want to play in spades or diamonds might want to play in hearts if partner's got five hearts but not enough to say two hearts which you know they could have 11 points and five hearts um and that's not enough to bid two hearts if you're playing two over one game forcing. So I'm going to bid two diamonds now. The partner passes. So partner has a minimum and doesn't have many spades. They have four diamonds. Right. Well, I think here the answer is that we want to secure some roughs in dummy, two heart roughs. So we're going to win the ace of hearts, cash some spades, um, and probably play a club. Am I going to cash the Queen of Spades now? Um, no, I don't think I need to cash the Queen of Spades now. I'm going to get my heart rough first. When I lose this club, I expect them to play Ace of Diamonds and another diamond. Um, but then I'm just essentially going to play. I can still rough my heart and I can they'll draw two diamond tricks, but um, one, two, three, be fine. They don't know what club I've got, so I'm going to play the two. And I expect to, a diamond to come, ace to go up, the nine of diamonds. Still missing the 10. So I'd like to rough the 
queen. I think she's better. No, I think roughing the heart in dummy is less likely to get over roughed than roughing a club in my hand. So I'm going to win with the queen. The club, rough. If they rough my queen of spades, they can't draw another trump. So I'm going to cash my queen of spades now, as I think. That's okay. And I started with five spades, dummy started on with six. So they started with seven. So they've only got one more spade left. Um, so I could rough the spade good by roughing with the six. But then I can't get back to my hand except by roughing. So I'm going to rough ten of hearts. I'm going to lead the ten of clubs. The king appears. The queen is now. No, the queen isn't good, but um, it does look like I can only get the one trick. Queen is good, but nobody's going to lead a club for me. So 110 is 71 percent. Did I miss a trick? Thing? No, nobody got more than 110. It's just lots of people did. Okay, so we, that was really par. Um, it's not bad to get 71% for just doing what you should do. Oh, this is 17 counts. We got lots of aces, but four, four, four not two not very good four card suits. So we're just going to open this one no trump. Might get passed out, which would be a bit sad. Now two clubs, that's good. So we'll tell them we've got four hearts. Three no trumps. Now when the robot does this sequence, if it had gone two clubs, two hearts, two no trumps, the robot would not have promised a four card major because it plays what the real non-promissory statement, i.e. because um, two, one no trump, two no trumps, would not have been a raise in no trumps. It would have been shown a minor suit hand. Um, the only way they can raise from one no trump to two no trumps with an invitation with a balanced hand is to go via stamen. So if they'd been two no trumps, they wouldn't have promised a four card major. Um, but when they bid three no trumps, now they can always go one no trump, three no trumps if they don't have a four card major. So by bidding two clubs, they promised that they have four spades, you'll see here, because they've had four hearts, they were raised hearts, obviously, so they have got four spades. We've got aces in the minor suits, and yeah, so we're going to bid four spades here, play this four, four spade bit. And very nicely, they've led a diamond round to here, which means that you just have the one diamond loser, and that could actually go away on these clubs. Um, so the interesting thing here is the trumps. We're missing the king and the ten. We've got eight spades, so they got five. We're missing the king and the ten. So if we were to lead, play from the south hand and lead the queen of spades and take a finesse, if the king goes on the queen, then there's still they can still make the ten of spades, and the best chance then is to finesse this way. We could play the ace of spades, and then we'll just lose one spade trick. But now taking the finesse here is better, because if, we, if, we, if the queen of spades is led and it loses to the king, if their spades are 3-2, we still got the ace and the jack to draw us. Of trumps. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to win this in our hand. Put up the king. No. So we can take the spade. We don't need to get our 
discard our diamond yet. We can take the spade finesse. Um, obviously, we're going to lose two hearts at least. And spades could always be 4 1. Right, so here's the jack of hearts. So who's likely to have the spade? So the robot likes leading from short suits. So there's a fair chance that East has the king of diamonds, and therefore they haven't played the diamonds back. Um, jack of hearts, taking the ace makes sure we'll only have the two heart losers. Um, and we're hoping we'll only have one spade loser, which can be true if we can, even if they're four one, if we pick which one might have, which hand might have four, um, because we'll create a finesse against the 10 when we play the other honor. So we're going to win the ace of hearts. Is there any indication as to which one of them is more likely to have four spades? in the auction they all passed um, Jack of Hearts will lead looks like could be a singleton why would they lead the jack they haven't got the ten and if they had the king or the queen so this hand looks to be short in hearts this hand could be could have been short in diamonds so I think I'm going to play for East to be the one that might have four spades. I'm going to go up with the ace and play a spade with the ace. Right, so neither of them had four spades, so I can just now, all I can do is get rid of my diamond loser and see if I can... Uh, Persuade them to do the wrong thing and crash their heart on us. So we're going to draw the Ten of Spades. Our clubs. Throwing the diamond away, not the heart, because we've got two heart losers, and throwing this heart away doesn't give us any fewer losers. We've thrown the diamond away. Let's see if we can persuade anybody to go up with the king. Oh. Right, we're just going to exit with a heart and see if somebody makes a mistake. No. And uh, now we can make the rest. Um, rough that. And rough that. So we made our 10 tricks, which is the average. The diamond lead wasn't the nicest. So 3N scores better. They make 10 tricks in. Um, no trumps as well. But we knew we had the 4 4 fit. We had aces in the mine in the short suits. So that all pointed towards playing in spades. Um and still 77%, still in first place. Now well, we got a nice 17 count. Um not enough tricks to open two clubs, so we'll start with our five card major. Double, All right, two spades here. It's a free raise. So, uh, do we definitely want to be in four spades? We haven't got enough to slam. Um, three clubs is just a show a club suit. Four clubs is a splinter so that would show that but would show 19 to 22 total points uh, a hand that was interested in a slam so 
I think the bid to make here is three hearts. Um, that reflects what my hand does. And if the robot says three spades, then I have to have another think. As, I'd have to have another think as to whether I wanted to bid four spades or not. But if I was going to bid four spades anyway, I should bid four spades now and not give the opponent, not give the defenders any information. So the question is, is my hand worth four spades against pretty much any two spade bids? So they've got three spades. Um, no points in spades. They are showing six to ten points. So they've got six points. The real danger is that they've got they're in club, Queen Jack of Clubs and Queen Jack of Diamonds would be their six points, and that's not very pretty. Particularly, they've got lots of hearts. So it's not, a, yeah, I would be bidding four spades at teams at imp scoring because you just bid 40% games um, in that because the way the scoring works. But playing pairs, um, and you want to stop if it's not there. So obviously this singleton is a good advantage. We're going to get the lead coming around to us. This hand's doubled. So um, it's a takeout double. So they got values here. They're sat over us. We might well get a heart lead, which would be good. Um, I need to ask partner, essentially. I'm going to ask partner three hearts. Um, effectively, this really ought to be a long suit trial bid saying, if you can help with my losers in hearts, then bid four spades. But I'm going to bid three hearts. And if they bid three spades, I'm going to pass. Oh, they're going to four spades. So the three heart bid improved their hand by the looks of it. So, so we're probably getting a diamond lead here or a club. So, I don't know that the heart bid really did improve their hand, but the five diamonds should come in um, unless this hand has five diamonds. So we're going to lose this club. Well, they have five diamonds that are rough, but it will. This does finesse their ten for them. Uh, I can win the nine. Now, as long as spades aren't five nil, I can. I'm going to be able to make my five spades and five diamonds for ten tricks, and see if I can end play the hearts. I don't think I dare play oh, a diamond to dummy and rougher club. No, we're just going to try and end play this hand with four hearts. Of course, the spade, first thing to do is find out if the spades are, we've got eight spades, they've got five, we just don't want five nil. No, they're at least, so that means I can draw the spade, all the trumps. Uh, this hand, like making the takeout double, had the three spades. This was the hand short in spades, but yet did nothing. So pretty much all the points are in this hand. There doesn't seem to be much we can do now. Don't think we can. We cash our two trumps. Does that do us any good? We can throw two hearts from dummy. This hand will have to find two discards. Safe enough. I'm pretty sure they've got Ace Queen of Hearts sat over my king. But um, so we will just play diamonds now. No point in playing the ten of clubs. We need the six of hearts. Maybe the king forlornly. As the queen is a nice queen, we can be sat over the king. I'm 
got the last two tricks with trumps. And that's terrible. So, what did I do wrong to get 14%? Everybody's making an over trick. How are they making an over trick? Let's have a look. See what I did wrong. I need the king of clubs. Oh, and then they got the ace of hearts lead. Why? That's because they didn't bid hearts. Just bidding four spades gets you the over trick. Yeah. That's how they did it. Yeah. So my long suit trial bid did cost by... Effectively telling the defenders not to need the ace of hearts. And to just have punted the four spades. Right. Pretty minimum balanced hand here. You'd be opening this one no trump in Akol. But um, I need to open one of a minor here. And the partner doesn't bid hearts. Partner bid spades, I'm bidding one no trump. Obviously, they bid hearts, I'll support hearts. Let's see. Which minor should I open? I tend to like open the one that I don't want them to lead against no trumps. So I'm going to open a club here. They've got a spade, so I'm going one no trump. We know partner can't have more than 12 points, so that's where we're going to be. And despite my bid, the robot still wants to lead clubs. Now, what we're going to do here, the fact that led the robot likes to lead from shortage, but this looks like Queen Jack 10, doesn't it? Maybe another one. What will happen if we duck it? I switch to something. Well, they might be able to cash four heart tricks, but they might switch to something more valuable. We've got a club loser anyway. In fact, we're likely to go down in this contract. So, probably six tricks is our target. We'll duck this one and just see. That looks like they've got Queen. Jack, 10. This robot never signals length. Is there any point in playing a club at this point? Maybe if I play a heart, they will play something else that will be useful to me. Yeah, by the ten of hearts, because I don't think we've won. Yes, there we go. I think they don't play the suit I played. So there's the ace of spades. They want to play it. We've got ace, king, queen here. Oh, now the two of spades. Right one still. Well, the king's not going to jack one. So now I have some more chances. This one's got the queen of spades. I'm going to cash the king of spades. I am. Right, so that's got me. That's the 13th spade. Everybody's followed the three rounds. The so 12 spades have gone. So this is a winner. So I'm now in a relatively good position. I don't think there's any reason not to cross to dummy in clubs now, especially as they had their 3-3. Three, three. Excellent. So now
cash the seven of spades. They're throwing a diamond. Am I going to throw both my clubs and try for a super duper? I've certainly got to throw one heart. Throwing no diamonds. Let's play our club. Throw another diamond. I'm going to throw the nine of hearts away. So. Let's lead the queen of diamonds. Now we've got the king on. The king's here. I'm making one though. Trump's got to be a good score. Ninety-six percent. Yeah. So you see, we were ahead of the game there, so there was no need to take risk the diamond finesse. Uh, we'll look at the other tables. Nobody made one twenty. Just getting ninety was an equal top. So we just played to. It was a bit like um, this Cassius Clay in the rum, rumble in the jungle, wasn't it? Where he, well, Muhammad Ali, where he backed away all the time, lets the opponents, his opponent, use up all his energy and then did it. So we just exited in hearts, let the opponents play suits for us, and that's better. So generally in one no trump, it's very often best to tr you try and get the opponents to open up new suits for you because you can never gain a trick by opening up a suit obviously it may not cost a trick if you've got a nice solid sequence but um you can never get more tricks by being the first by opening up the suit and you may give away a trick so we try and get the opponents to give away tricks in one no trump that's what makes it one of my favorite contracts well we've got a Flattish 15 count. So this is going to be a one no trump. Rupert plays it two hearts, which is a transfer to spades, obviously. So we're going to be, when we've got a doubleton, so we're bidding two spades. And the robot normally passes after this. So the club leads quite nice. But it's actually got six spades. Um, an entry in the third round of clubs, possibly. Um, the hearts don't look very nice. It set up some diamonds, maybe to throw some away. Um, but a diamond rough is a possible entry to dummy to take a spade finesse. Looks though we probably won't be able to take the spade finesse. But whatever's happening, um, we're just going to see what make our king of clubs. Um, we don't know where the ace of diamonds is. Sure, the robot doesn't very often underlead aces against suit contracts. So we think the ace of clubs is here. So if we lead the nine of clubs from dummy, we'll be setting up the jack. But no, I think there's no reason not to lead the king of diamonds. The ace is there, which is good news. No, we didn't get a heart continuation. There's the ace of clubs. Are we getting a club roughed? Are we getting, getting a king of heart? The robot likes to cash its winners if it is giving its partner the rough. Nine. Do I want to risk? I want to cross to dummy and take a spade finesse in case there's king x here. On the other hand, is that a way to lose two tricks? I can only afford to lose one. The odds are that if this hand has the king, it's got, you know, it may well have three of them. The only time the spade finesse actually works is when this hand has the king and one other one exactly. 
We have king to three, they're always going to make a trick. If they've got king singleton playing the ace. So I think the best line that gets reduces the chance of losing your off is to play the ace of spades and the jack of spades. Well, now they've just got the king of spades to make. So the jack of diamonds is a winner. So hearts away, which is a winner. And the king of spades was offside, so that's good news. Make our two of spades and our queen of spades. 67%, so that looks like doing the right thing, pretty much. Yeah, nobody's doing better than making two spades. That's the right thing. So now what comes to us is one diamond, three diamonds. And three diamonds in the robot system is weaker than two diamonds here. Two diamonds would be an unlimited raise showing four diamonds. This is a weak type raise with five diamonds. So we're almost in a preemptive type situation like this hand had opened three diamonds, except we know that West has an opening hand, but we also know that it can't be more than 13 points because that's what we've got. And this is the best hand tournament. So we have the best hand. So our choice here is double or three hearts. Um, if partner has four spades, then double will be best because we'll get to the four four spade fit. You know, whether it's partner strong enough then to bid but it's unlikely that partner's strong enough to bid four spades, but um but if partner doesn't have four spades, then three hearts will be better. Um the real danger with double is partner bids four clubs with four of them. Um, so then they would have, and they can't only have, because they wouldn't then have, if you think about it, this is three diamonds, this is five diamonds. So partner could have four diamonds, uh, four clubs, um, and three, two in the majors. So that's a worst case scenario. So I don't think there's too much danger. If partner bids four clubs, they're going to have five of them. And we've got, then we'll be roughing in the short trump hand. So I think double wins here. Modern theory says that if you've got a five card major and a four card major, generally it's better to bid the five card major and then try and hope to double subsequently to show the other one. But um, I think we're too high to think that that's going to be possible. So I think we'll double here. So take out double. Partner bids four hearts. Good news. So they got a they could have bid three hearts if they were weaker, and they got hearts with us. So that's good news. The only danger is that they're four hearts and four spades. We'd have been better off in four spades than in four hearts. It's better to play in a four-four fit than a five-four fit. Um, if that happens here, I'll explain why. And the ten of spades is led by the weak hand. So is the shortage? Is it a singleton? So we do have a nine card heart fit. So the risk of putting the jack of spades on here, because I, no, this hand probably has king queen. So they win. If they can play a spade in this hand rough, they can play a diamond back to that hand and get another spade rough. And that's them taking the first four tricks. Um, and But it's most likely this hand has the ace of diamonds. 
we give them king queen of spades we look at how the points are the partner has 11 we have 13 24 Yeah, I don't know that this hand may have a quick entry to this hand. Oh, it's this hand a quick entry? Ah, so this is the ace of diamonds, yes. So it's the entry to this hand. So yes, that still is a problem. We go up the ace of spades, draw trumps. Um, we can throw this hand in with the spade, with the nine of spades, and, they, and then they may be in a difficult position having to give us a trick. But is this likely that this hand, this hand would have to have five spades and have opened one diamond. They wouldn't have done that. So, yes, because if, if the 10 is a singleton, you see we've got seven spades, 10 there would be eight. And if that was a singleton, this hand would have five spades to the king queen. And they would open one spade rather than one diamond, unless they had six diamonds. And they can't have six diamonds because then this hand would only have th three diamonds. Um, and they promised five. So this, I'm going to cover this with the jack. Lose queen, expect the king to be here. So they play clubs. Have they played away from the king of clubs? We don't, well, this will get us, this should make, probably have. Yeah, but that, that, we've only got the one club loser now. That diamond. So that's the one diamond loser. So we still have a spade loser, don't we? That's the difficulty. We haven't got rid of our spade loser. So our only chance is a squeeze and we need the squeeze card to come from dummy. Um, it's not very likely. We've got to play for West to have Queen Jack of Diamonds and And the queen and eight of spades. Spade gone. Diamond gone. We're going to play because the Queen of Diamonds gone. I suspect this East has the Jack of Diamonds, but um, play the. No advantage in playing the, we'll play the nine of spades. They've thrown a diamond. We're now going to cross club and play the king of diamonds. And this hand has no more diamonds. So we have a spade loser. Um, the row, if, if this hand had had the jack of diamonds rather than these, then they would have been stuffed. Throw the king of spades just there's momentary hope 46 percent so it's par for the course is it enough to keep us in first place looks like it yep 66 percent good enough for first place that was pretty much a draw so really 
the only reason I didn't get a fantastic score um, is this board five, where if I just bid four spades, the defense goes wrong and gives us an over trick, which is what most people did. Um, my three heart bid meant I got held to four spades exactly. Without that, we would have been doing an awful lot better. So I hope you um, learned a lot from that, or at least something, and uh, that you'll, if you did like this video, you'll give it a like, and that you'll come back um, next week to see more results from BBO's weekly free instant tournament. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.